within the picturesque town of Eldridge, a hidden gem framed by rolling hills and dense forests. The Miller residence stood as a timeless testament to the ebb and flow of bygone eras. This two-story Victorian mansion, adorned with ornate details and ivy-covered walls, had weathered the years like a silent sentinel, harboring secrets as ancient as the very timbers that comprised its structure. The Millers, a family of three, embarked on a journey to weave a new narrative within the walls of this grand estate. Among them was young Daniel, a precocious and imaginative boy of seven, whose eyes sparkled with anticipation at the prospect of uncovering the mysteries concealed within the nooks and crannies of his new home. Little did he know that these walls held more than architectural history. They resonated with the whispers of the long-lost souls trapped within. As the family settled into the grandeur of their new abode, Daniel's keen senses began to pick up on faint murmurs echoing within the walls. These whispers, at first indistinguishable from the settling groans of an aging house, gradually evolved into a chorus of voices distinct and haunting. They were the spectral echoes of children, each one mirroring Daniel's age at the time of their untimely demise. Nor with an almost magnetic pull toward the ethereal voices, Daniel discovered an extraordinary ability within himself. With a mere thought, he could summon the ghosts that lingered within the very fabric of the mansion. To his amazement, these apparitions took the form of children, their ghostly visages capturing the innocence that time had stolen from them. As the years unfolded, the voices multiplied, weaving a symphony of laughter and sobs that echoed through the corridors of the Miller residence. Daniel, finding an unusual solace in the company of these spectral companions, forged a bond with the ghostly inhabitants of his home. Yet the tranquility bestowed by these spectral friends would prove to be fleeting. A fateful night descended upon the Miller family, casting a shadow that would linger for generations. Daniel's mother, a woman of kindness and love, succumbed to a sudden and mysterious illness, leaving the family shattered and grief-stricken, unbeknownst to Daniel. Her spirit lingered in the ethereal realm, unable to find the peace that had eluded her in life. All in the depths of the night, a malevolent force seized hold of her tormented soul. Fueled by anger and sorrow, she became a vengeful specter, haunting the once welcoming abode with an otherworldly wrath that targeted both the living and the spectral children alike. The Miller residence transformed into a battleground where the boundaries between the living and the dead blurred like the mist clinging to the ancient trees outside. Determined to free his mother's spirit from the grip of darkness, Daniel delved into the esoteric mysteries of the supernatural. Guided by the spectral children within the walls, he sought a ritual, a delicate equilibrium between the realms of the living and the dead. Together, they unraveled the secrets hidden within the fabric of reality, embarking on a journey that would determine the fate of the Miller family and the souls that dwelled within. As Daniel enacted the ritual, the very atmosphere within the house crackled with an otherworldly energy. The air itself seemed to shimmer with the essence of the spectral plane as ghostly apparitions manifested, surrounding him in a haunting chorus. Thus, with each incantation, the vengeful grip of his mother's spirit weakened, the tenuous link between the living and the dead teetering on the brink. Though in a climactic moment, the room fell into a profound silence. The ghostly apparitions dispersed leaving behind a palpable sense of calm. Daniel, drained but resolute, felt a weight lift from his shoulders, the tangible presence of his mother's spirit now serene and free. This with a grateful smile, her ethereal form ascended to the afterlife, leaving behind a transformed home and a bittersweet sense of closure. Yet victory came at a heavy cost. In the struggle to save his mother, Daniel's father, 
already weakened by the weight of grief, succumb to the supernatural forces at play. The once joyful home now bore the scars of a cosmic battle between life and death, a haunting reminder of the sacrifices made in the name of love and redemption. Haunted by the specters of his past, Daniel, now bereft of both parents, chose to dedicate his life to a newfound purpose. Armed with an intimate knowledge of the supernatural, he became a wandering ghost hunter, traversing the boundaries between the mundane and the arcane. His journey led him to abandoned houses with time-worn secrets, ancient cemeteries whispering tales of the forgotten, and desolate places where the boundary between the living and the dead blurred into obscurity. With each encounter, Daniel delved deeper into the intricacies of the spirit world, forging alliances with benevolent ghosts and confronting malevolent entities that sought to disrupt the delicate balance between the realm. His reputation as a beacon of hope spread far and wide, and people from all walks of life sought his expertise to dispel the spectral disturbances that haunted their homes. Yet, beneath the veneer of his newfound purpose, Daniel carried the weight of his past. A constant reminder of the sacrifices made in the pursuit of equilibrium between the world and the quiet town of Eldridge, where whispers of the supernatural echoed through time, the Miller residence stood as a silent witness to the mysteries that lurked beyond the veil of reality within the walls. The spectral voices of children echoed, a haunting reminder of the bond forged by a boy who could hear the whispers of the departed and the sacrifices made to bring peace to the restless souls that lingered in the in-between. Thank you for listening. Kofi Afaf.